Simon Tian was still a student in Quebec when he started taking pre-orders for a computer you could wear on your wrist. It wasn't until he saw the demand spiking that he actually decided to take a trip to China and learn about the process of getting a real hardware product made. At age 19, Tian launched a Kickstarter campaign for the Neptune Pine. The idea was to make a different kind of smartwatch. Before the end of 2013, Simon closed his Kickstarter campaign after raising $800,000, more than eight times his original asking price and a record breaker for a Canadian-based project. Now, Neptune is ready to unveil its sequel product. With most smartwatches we've seen so far, like the Apple Watch or the Samsung Gear, it's relied on using your smartphone as the main computing power. But with the Neptune Hub, it acts as the main computing power and the screen is the companion device. So all of your personal information is actually attached to your body. Tian says computing has become advanced and miniaturized enough that we can now wear our personal devices. That at least means it's less likely you'll lose your device or drop it and break it. The Neptune Hub can be used to complete many tasks more quickly than a smartphone. You can write a text message by using your finger to form letters on the touchscreen or just use your voice to dictate a message. You can make a phone call or launch a video chat at the tap of a finger. This is more than a smartwatch. It's a full computer that fits on your wrist. and runs the full version of Google's Android, not the watered-down Android Wear API. If you really think about it, the, the watch actually represents you as a human being because it's always strapped to your wrist. Uh, it's like part of your, your body. Uh, and so in other words, we as human beings have become overly dependent on our smartphones, right? If you lose sight of your phone for just a minute, you start freaking out, you start calling it, you start running around your house. Um, and so that's the reason why we thought of inverting the two roles, right? So instead of uh, the phone being the master, we have the smartwatch. The Neptune Hub transmits video to the display wirelessly using a new high bandwidth method that is faster than Wi-Fi. Tian says this allows it to respond to user actions without latency. And when you're running low on battery, you can connect the hub to the screen device and siphon across some extra juice. So why should Neptune's model succeed when it's going up against the likes of tech giants Apple and Samsung? The idea behind the hub is that it's a it's a faster and more efficient way of doing things than on your smartphone, right? Um, it's sort of like the transition that we had throughout the last few years from the larger, you know, PC form factor to the smartphone, right? To a pocket-sized device. Um, most of your web browsing and your emailing now is done on your pocket-sized device. The Neptune Hub will ship in late 2015 and is now available for pre-order. You can get it for as low as $500 if you pony up now, or if you want to pay when it ships, you can reserve it now for free and pay $800 later. I guess the pricing on this product is just like the device itself. It's all a matter of time. For itbusiness.ca, I'm Brian Jackson. Thanks for watching. All hands on tech.